Ahoy! How are we doing, shipmates? Today, we're having a look at this gripping beast. He's the Goth Warlord on a cataphract horse. So, yeah, I'm just gonna have a little paint through. See what I do. And uh, hopefully give you some ideas. Okay, so as you see, I've put some Army Painter paints out on my palette. Just run through those quick. We've got Barbarian Flesh. Then we've got a mixture of browns here. We've got Werewolf Brown Fur, Monster Brown, and Leather Brown. There's also Banshee Brown. And then we've got a Dark Red. Which one's that called? Sorry. That's Abomination Gore. As our base red, and then we've got a pure red and a Mars red, which is a very orangey red. So I'm going to hit some of these on using my regiment brush. The little pot I've got here is uh, the medium I mix up, which is. Uh, a gel acrylic, gel matte acrylic, just watered down with a bit of flow improver in it. And then we're just gonna as the old saying goes, working some thin coats. What we're gonna aim today is getting this warlord to um, kind of a a good looking sort of high tabletop standard. And the big thing on these guys, you can go quite quick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the base layer of flesh on. flesh to do on there and then we're going to lay down this is the werewolf brown thinned out just to get that going So yeah, I'm just going to lay some base colours down and I'll be back. Okay, so we've put down the base colours now, well, apart from the obvious one, which is the metal. I just thought I'd show you what I'm going to do, because there's, there's a number of different ways to do armour and metals, and uh, one is to to try brush it over black, but what we're going to do today, this is Army Painter Gun Metal with a bit of our medium just to make it run nice. I always put this on the dry palette rather than the wet one because uh, metallics just aren't good on wet. Well, I don't like them on wet palettes. So I'm just going to drop a layer of gun metal over this. I forgot to mention earlier, I think, is we're using the fact that I've kind of done a Xenophore highlight to paint in a, like, an undershading colour. So we should need to put thinner and less coats on, which speeds us up for our, our overall army. You can afford, to, I think, to spend a little bit more time on the Warlords. Um, yeah, so I'm going to crack on with this, get all the metal done, and then we'll be back. Okay, so the gunmetal base coat's on, as you can see. So what I'm going to do now is get into some washes. 
and these are from Army Painter. Um, I get mine from the nice crew at Griffin Beast. They're always helpful. And they sent this miniature for today's video for me to play with. First of all, Dark Tone. I tend to put just a drop of medium with them. That's the medium I make, but game, uh, Army Painter do a medium, Games Workshop do a medium as well. Or you can just make your own. Or I'll push just a little couple of drops of water. What I'm looking to do is thin the wash a little bit because this is quite strong. The Army Painter one. And then I'll just drop it. Because I've got that water, it just runs into the grooves just a little bit better. So, there we go. So, I'm going to do that. I'm also going to put the black on the metals. But as you see, I've got the other washes out. So I'm going to go right around this miniature, making sure this isn't pulling up. I'm going to, I'll put too much on an area. I'll show you what you do. You've probably seen this before. So that's just soaking in it. That take it out of a brush. Wick, 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 wick. And then you can even use it for the rest of the metal there. And I'll just spread it out. And if you see it pulling up anywhere. This will stay, this gravity will affect this for a good five to ten minutes, I think. Just worth working back around where you've been before. As I said, the army painted dark tone is very, very strong. So, you don't want to get too heaped up in one area because it will turn it black. Again, just going to work around this, and then I'll work around the brown areas the same. I've got a mid, I've got a flesh tone for the flesh. I've got the soft tone for the brown on his trousers and the leathery bits. I've got the mid brown for the horse. The mid has got kind of a bit of red in it, so I just thought that would be good for the horse. Okay, well I'll crack on with those and come back when they're dry and show you what we'll do next. Okay, so those are dry now. I've just painted the base in brown. I've just got a little drop of white out here and we're just going to drop the eyes in before we go any further. I've got a nice runny white. Okay. Top of one. A bit more white. I think that's cool. Okay, so we've done the eyes there. Why's that white's drying? Like I was doing it with a regiment brush. I'm sort of a character size now. I'm just going to start highlighting some of this up now. So, a bit more onto the knuckles there. Although, we're going to put the shield on. I painted the shield 
while we were away. Just straight brown, bit of wash over it. And the other side I've painted white because we're gonna use a little big man studios uh transfer that again got from the crew at Gripping Beast. So I've got that sticker all cut out ready. Obviously the wash has done a really nice job on his hands, so we just need to I'm highlighting this with the same flesh tone. Because obviously we're we're kind of army paint here. You could use different tones, build the tone up for the from dark to light. But I think for our sort of army style, he's gonna look pretty snazzy. When we've put all the washes on everything, everything's a little bit darker anyway. Okay, so that's the flesh now. So the red tones, we're going to go to my mid-tone, which was the pure red. I'm going to make it quite watery. And you can see on there. I'm just going to pick out a few areas to... Start pulling out. Concentrate where the light's going to catch. I always... As you see, my lamp's going to be above here, kind of here. So as you can see, the light's coming down the top of this fire there. It's going to be on there, bit there, bit there, bit there. It's going to be running along the edge, but on the outside. So I'm, I'm going still staying with the zenith idea. Okay, so the top of this arm is going to catch them. I'm leaving the stuff in the recess dark. And then just picking out the highs. You see the, the red I'm using is quite watery. So yeah, on the back of his... Uh, tabard there. I'm going to leave that underneath. Quite dark. On the, the edge and on the armour there, I've kind of just not done it complete. Just so we start getting, building up some highlight. Make it a bit more interesting. And then on top of this, pretty bow in its tail. Okay, there we go. That's the red. The armor. That's I quite like it like that. Some people like it shinier. If you want it shinier, you can dry brush over the top of that or just highlight it a bit. But I'm actually going to leave it like that because I kind of like it dark on mine. Again on his trousers there, that fawn colour where the we can see the wash is settled in. Leave the areas where the wash is settled in. And just hit a little bit of highlight on his knee. So I wouldn't use this for my rank and farm winniches, but this guy is your warlord who sort of catches the eye in the army. So there's that. And we're going to go back to that leathery brown. Just catch around his toes. Catch some of these bands without going into the groove. Anywhere you think will look good. All right, so as you see, there's some areas I've not hit yet with any metal I'm going to put up like a bronzy colour in them but just first before we switch the camera for a second again that white should be dry we should be able to pick 
the black dots in his eyes. Sure, you can see him eyes on the camera. Of course, he's got black eyes, there's a bit of silver on there, rings. I'm just gonna, I got this black on my brush, just touch it in. Okay, so I'm just gonna get the bronze out, some of those other bits of metal, and then uh, we'll be back. Right, so I've gone round, I've added some gold into that instead of the bronze or copper I was saying before. I uh, thought it'd be a bit more flashy. Just now, on that red, I'm coming to my Mars red, which is like an orangey red. And I'm just going to reinforce those highs. So we're going to where we painted that red on before and we're coming inside it and just making sure that we leave the darker areas as it was. Nip back round, just keep touching these higher areas. Just like a little drop. So it's like the light's catching the edge a little bit, working quite quickly. Okay, so it's about there, really. I'm going to sort out the shield transfer, I've got it already cut out, I've got this guy, just show you this one more time, I showed it on the other video, just pull the little bit of plastic off, press that all the way around so it's nice and tight in, especially around the boss area. I say these are designed for these shields by Little Big Man to fit the Griffin Beast. Make sure you get the the right shields because they do stuff for other companies. So, you know, give Griffin Beast a shout. They'll get you the right stickers for the right shields. Um, that's about it, really. We're, we're going to paint the shield in. I think once he's dry, I'm going to run a little fancy line around his sleeve, around his bottom of his cloak. And that's about it really. So what I do is I do that all off camera and get him finished up and lacquered and shoot some stills for the light box and put them on the end. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this. Just a little sort of paint along kind of thing. Um, subscribe like that sort of thing look for me on twitter and facebook as pirate rich paints you can message me on there and see if there's anything you want me to paint other than that thank you for joining me again hope the snoring stuffy didn't disturb you at all and i'll see you next time cheers shipmates <laughs>